Woodward insisted she would not sell her story. The clarity and precision of her words have taken on a new meaning. Not me, but mum and dad. The payment was made before the murder conviction was quashed in favour of a manslaughter verdict. The money was to help fund their legal battle. In a moment, we'll be trying to find out where the money went. The Reverend Ken Davey, who is the chairman of the Appeal Fund, which was set up the month after the interview, told Newsnight, I know nothing of any money ever having changed hands. He also told us he'd spoken to the Woodward solicitor here, Paul Barrow, a fortnight ago, who told him no financial deals had been done. So does this revelation drive a coach and horses through the cosy arrangement by which the press polices itself? One of the first questions Louise Woodward was asked when she faced the press yesterday was whether she'd been paid by a newspaper for her story. And any speculation that I've, that I've heard in America, I've not sold my story. Uh, can you tell us why you've decided not to sell your story? Well, I said that all along. Um, I just, I just don't think it would be right. Um, I don't know. I think that's just a decision we made as a family. I, I don't think it's the right venue. I don't. Tonight, for the first time, though, the Daily Mail confirmed that they did pay Louise parents for an interview with them last November. They said Louise Woodward's conviction for murder provoked a huge groundswell of public opinion and concern in Britain. Sue and Gary Woodward considered it necessary to receive payment in order to help fund their legal battle. The journalist who broke the story was Jack Sullivan of the Boston Herald. I had two um, impeccable and unimpeachable sources. Um, we were 100% confident of our story when we ran it today, and I think that the Daily Mail's uh, acknowledgement, confirmation of uh, our story uh, exonerates our sources and and belies the denials that continue to be issued by uh, the family members. That front page mail interview in November, which was tagged an exclusive, was headed so unfair and talked about the outrage in Britain and America at the teenage nanny's murder conviction. There was no mention at any point in the interview about the burden of legal fees facing the family. In its statement tonight, the Daily Mail insisted that it wholly supports the Press Complaints Commission's Code of Practice, which clearly forbids payments to convicted people or their family and friends unless it is in the public interest. The Daily Mail said no other payment has or will be made to the Woodward family. Well, first we're joined on the telephone from Chicago by Paul Spellman, who's Deborah Epen's brother. Um, Paul Spellman, um, you're sister and brother-in-law have brought a civil suit um, to prevent the Woodwards making any money but in this case uh, the Woodwards say the justification was that they needed money to help fight the legal battle does that make a difference it really doesn't make any difference um, you know she profited from this her legal battle at that point was being paid for by the au pair agency and her actions are inexcusable she's proven herself to lie on the stand and now to the to the public in general and we shouldn't be surprised by that because we did see her lie on the stand. Um, tell me, do you think this will make a difference to the level of claim that your sister and brother-in-law are going to make? Uh, I'm not, I have no idea how this will affect the civil activities that are going on right now. Uh, I'm only certain that it will certainly affect the way people look at Louise and uh, the trust level that, that other people have for her. Now, the Woodward family have, have said that they have been offered in the past much, much larger...